what's up? I'm back home and I went on a long, well, I wouldn't say it's that long, but I went on a walk and it was so nice. However, me and my sister always usually go together, but she is back in school and I'm so sad about it. I literally told her to drop out, but I was kidding, obviously. But so I'm back home from my walk. I was so freaking productive this morning. I woke up at 6.45. I've been trying to like be active on TikTok because honestly, I feel Feel like a lot of people grow on there like organically so I'm trying to do that I'm trying to be more active on all my platforms because summer is arriving and we all know I thrive in the summer so I'm just trying to be a lot more active this week is really just like my week to be active on everything because I'm not working as much as you guys know I have a job so I worked a bunch this past three weeks and I have like these next couple weeks like kind of light until I leave for me and my boyfriend's thing that I'm not gonna tell you for a little bit because I want it to be a surprise but just expect something really exciting coming yeah I'll tell you guys what I did this morning so I woke up at 6 45 I cleaned the entire house for my mom because if you guys didn't know well first of all I need to even update you guys so yesterday I was vlogging if you guys like follow me on tiktok you guys definitely should you guys know that my mom actually went to the hospital yesterday I took her there it was kind of just like not out of nowhere but like kind of out of nowhere. So three years ago, my mom kind of like tore her shoulder. It was like a rotator cuff thing. She is so beyond stubborn and she's like very, very, very selfless. She's probably the most selfless human being I've ever met. Like she puts all of us and my dad before everyone else. And so I took her to the hospital that kind of took like two to three hours out of our days and so she has a surgery coming up on the 20th so we basically went to the hospital because her rotator cuff keeps tearing and it's kind of like her shoulders kind of fallen off like not really it's just like really painful for her and she's been really really suffering these past like couple months but so we tried to go to the hospital to see if she could like maybe even possibly get a, an emergency surgery type thing because like this woman is in pain and so her doctor that she's seeing on the 20th is on vacation and I guess he has no other person like covering for him and so she's on these pain meds and it's like bone pain they only gave her so many pain pills her doctor's office that she's going to for the surgery is just so slow and she was just really tweaking out yesterday to like relieve her pain and so we went to the hospital and I just like you know when like you ruin your mood type thing like that kind of ruined my mood and like that's not my mom's fault that's kind of just like life kind of so I was vlogging and then I didn't vlog so I kind of just stopped but so yesterday after all that happened I was in a really sad mood the rest of the day and honestly I was just in such a bad mood so I'm like today's gonna be a better day so um I wanted to give you guys a little haul so yesterday I know my mom literally just got me a bunch of stuff from Sephora but I was just in a sad mood and I just kind of needed retail therapy yesterday I actually only needed one thing and that was a restock of my Pat McGrath concealer. I love this stuff so much. You guys know I love it. So I got it in the shade M18. This is my summer shade. Love this. And then so I decided to get the matching foundation because I've heard a lot of good things about it. So I got the Pat McGrath Skin Fetish Foundation. And oh my god, the packaging's so pretty. I want to show you guys what it looks like because it's so pretty. So if you guys don't know, there's a VIB sale. I don't know how to open Oh, oh my god, this is so pretty, ready. <gasps> Oh my god, 10 out of 10 for the packaging? Holy sh! Holy sh! Wow, this is beautiful. Do you guys see this right now? Holy shit. So I'm in the shade medium, medium 17. This is nice packaging. Holy sh! Wow. That reminds me, I also really wanted to do a Instagram haul of like everything I got for the VIP sale. And then so last but not least, I got the Ilia mascara. I tried it out this morning. I definitely like it. Really pretty. So got that and that's all I got yesterday. I just, I don't know. I need to go to the Sephora. Sephora is like my lifesaver, you know? So I did that yesterday and then also my graduation dress came in and I know you guys saw my graduation shoes, but I think I want to keep it a surprise as to like what I look like. So I'm not going to show you guys my graduation dress, so please don't be mad at me. But it's in, it's right in front of me. I'm very excited. Kind of get a sneak peek on TikTok. So I haven't even made my to-do list yet and I feel like I'm talking so much and I need to change the angle because you guys must be getting bored. So I'm going to make a little to-do list right now I think me and my mom are gonna go run some errands pretty soon So 
I switch up the angle so that you guys don't get too bored because I get bored if influencers are like in the same angle. So I'm over here. Hello. So I have a shit ton of stuff to do today and I'm excited. I'm excited. I have a lot of shit to do. So I already crossed off a bunch. So we're just going to go through this and I'm not going to pause. I'm not going to talk. I'm just going to tell you guys my to-do list because I tend to do that and I get bored of myself when I edit. So I responded to comments today. I just wrote it down even though I did it just to like keep track. I went on a walk and then also today I have spin at 6.45. I need to package clothes for Curtsy. If you're not already following me on to Curtsy, please do. I sell all my clothes on there. But so I need to put those in the post office as well as package those clothes. I need to respond to an email for a Mother's Day campaign thing that I'm doing that I already talked about with you guys. I have clothes to pick out for a Zaffle haul coming up. I also need to respond to that coordinator. And then I have an internship meeting at 4.30 p.m. today. I need to finish my blog post for my internship, which is gonna be really, really good. It's it's talking about like graduating seniors and both college and high school and not like getting a graduation that like should be a good graduation you know what I mean or like them not being acknowledged for like all the hard work they've put in. I also need to respond to my internship mentor I'm vlogging today and I want this to be a daily vlog so I need to pick up the camera today because I'm so used to the college week in my life so I can just get like small little clips but no we are making more and fun content this week, okay? And then I need to edit, upload, and then I need to message this hair company because they sent me hair stuff and I still have yet to even film with it. So I need to tell them that I got the thing and that I'm going to be planning right now, which leads me to my next little thingy. I need to plan content and I need to put in hours for my other job, which you guys know I do babysit. So I haven't been babysitting in so long, so that's what I need to put in hours for. So that's what's up. Um, So I'm just gonna try and knock up some stuff right now. And then I also forgot to put on my to-do list too post a tiktok because i'm trying to be more active on tiktok all right guys let's get it oh also i just on my walk i responded to comments to kind of already told you guys but i was also listening to the caller daddy podcast which is like blowing up on tiktok right now it was so good it was so crazy so i'm just getting out guys can i also just tell you this entire suitcase i'm a little embarrassed is filled with just bikinis so that's a little embarrassing and my boyfriend makes fun of me for it. But so in this suitcase, I have all the clothes that I'm selling. So we have this dress that I've never worn, still has tags. So we're selling this. I'm selling this dress, which is a Princess Polly dress. It's just too short on me. So we're selling that. And then I think I'm selling this. And I'm selling this dress, only worn it once. So we got four dresses that we're selling. And I just sent my mom the shipping labels because for some reason my laptop doesn't like the print here. So now I'm gonna go package these. Except I don't even think I have enough packaging supplies. from running errands we have a few little hauls so we went to walmart and my mom got me this cute little class of 2021 tumbler as well as this amazing freaking sponge it's like the body sponge and it's so so good i love it the bigger ones the better and then we went to ulta and so i was looking for the redken extreme length leave-in couldn't find it so we just got two of the mini sizes and then also i'm going to try out the ordinary hyaluronic acid two percent plus b facts yeah very exciting so yeah and then also we have one of my favorite little packages came in not too long ago we got some more those here Okay, you guys know, you guys literally know my love for Dossier. They're basically just this sustainable, vegan, cruelty-free perfume brand that takes scents from luxury brands in a good way. They don't, like, copy it completely. They just make it similar so that you don't have to pay the luxury markup prices of your favorite perfumes. You can literally just get them here at Dossier. So we have two perfumes to try out today. I'm so excited. You guys know I literally die for them. Iconic scents, designer quality, no markups. Like, hi. They're just so aesthetic. So this one's Oriental Cherry. It has notes of cherry, almond, cinnamon. Ooh, this one's gonna be a good one. This one is inspired by Tom Ford Lost Cherry. So then also within the Dossier packaging comes a little travel size perfume and so just so by the way so that you guys can have a hassle-free return you need to try the travel size first so that you can re return this with no hassle so that they can resell it so you need to 
try the travel size first but I always take the travel size and put it in my purse so that if I smell disgusting I always have that so let's try out the oriental cherry and the reason why I'm not trying the travel size is because I haven't hated a single one of dossiers perfumes so let's try it Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is my new favorite. Wow. Do you guys remember what Gilly Hicks smells like? This is it. This is it. It's the oriental cherry. Holy crap. Okay, you need to buy this right. You need to buy this right now. Take a screenshot. It'll be linked down below, but just so you remember, here it is. Holy sh that smells so good. I'm gonna cry. I'm gonna put it right over here. So that I don't forget about it. Okay, I don't know how this next one's gonna top it off. Okay, so we have the next one. All right, let's do it. And also, I have a discount code for you guys, which I'll leave right here. So again, Iconic Scents. Ooh, this one looks pretty. So this one's called the Fruity Magnolia. Top notes are Pomegranate, Yuzu, Aquatic Accord, Peony, Rose, and Amber. This is inspired by Versace Bright Crystal. So this is exciting. This is exciting. Because I love fruity scents. And again, make sure you try the travel size before trying the big size. As you've seen, I find it hard to hate any... Oh, oh my god, I almost forgot. Travel size for my purse. As you guys know, I haven't hated a single one. So this is Fruity Magnolia. So let's give it a try. Ooh. Ooh. This I might bring... This I might bring with me to Kyle and I's secret destination that we're going to after graduation. This smells really good. This smells like exactly what you would think a person that just came out of the Maldives, the Bahamas, anywhere tropical. This is, this is that. So this is what it's called. It'll be linked down below. Again, I love Dossier with my whole entire life. You guys know this. If I didn't love them, then obviously I wouldn't be doing so many videos with them. If you guys want to try any of those perfumes, I suggest you literally buy both of these because this has been by far my favorite package from them. And I'm not just saying that. Like, you guys saw my genuine reaction. And my genuine love for them is true, as you guys can see. So definitely go check them out down below. I'll have both of these perfumes linked. Comment down below if you guys get any of them because, oh my god, they're so good. And again, you guys can use my discount code. And thank you again so much for Dossier for these beautiful perfumes that I will be using. Okay, guys, since it's so nice outside and it's going to be like rainy weather for like the rest of the week, I'm going to go lay outside. I have a bikini on right now. And then I'm just going to throw this t-shirt dress over it from Princess Polly. I love it. It's so pretty. You guys can't really see, actually. No, you can. It's super pretty. And then after, I'm just going to go straight to the post office, and then I have to be back here for 4.30 for my meeting. I'm so red. I've been laying out all day, but so I've made some progress on my to-do list over here. What's left is just spin at 6.45. I need to put in my hours for my other job. I have a meeting in about 30 minutes. I need to finish a blog post. I need to edit, upload. I'm actually going to look at some homework that I have to do for next week because I honestly have no idea what's coming up. I want to shower, but I'm literally just going to go to spin. Just get re-dirty. So I don't know what I want to do as to like showering. I'm like pretty much ready for spin. I'm wearing these army green Lulus with my Lulu sports bra that's like super high neck. I love it. It's the best. But so we just got my water bottle and I'm gonna grab my keys and then I'm also gonna take a pre-workout because why not? Also my mom got me a hot glue gun so that when my cap and gown come in I can decorate my cap and there will be a whole dedicated video. Don't you worry. But got the keys. Let's take some pre-workout. Okay, call me weird, but I'm putting ice in it. I don't care. I need to leave in like four minutes. Got the water. Can't have a lot though. Ooh, I'm... My friend Lauren does this in her videos as well. And she just uses her milk frother little thing to mix it. I think that worked. Okay, cheers. 
Alright mates, I'll talk to you later. Guys, so I'm back home for my spin class. It was so, so hard. That was definitely the hardest spin class I think I've ever done. I burned so many calories. And I'll show you guys before I start my skincare. So we did a 3.66 mile walk and then we did a 547 cal spin. So we did a total 1,068 calories. So that was pretty good. But so now I'm doing my skincare before I have to do a bunch of work. I have so much work to do. Um, not so much like school work. It's kind of just like like YouTube work, internship work. I'm motivated to do it, which is good. It's just, you know. So we're going to do that tonight. Damn, there's like a lot of dirt on my face. I like, have to double cleanse it. What do you think so? so? You know what? I don't even think I cleansed. I think that's it. Recently, I've been feeling like my face is like really puffy and holding on to a lot of water. Normally, my face doesn't feel like that, but it could just because be because of my new birth control that I'm on. You guys didn't know I switched to the Elu ring, which is just a ring that goes up your lady part and helps you fight off any possibility of having a child. So, um, if you guys don't already know my skincare routine, I use the Pharmacy Deep Sweep Toner. And I'm just going in with my moisturizer from the same brand. I love the stuff. So good. It's my favorite. But I got a new product that I want to try today. I haven't added a new product to my skincare routine in such a long time. So I'm excited. So we're going to try the Ordinary Hyaluronic Acid 2% plus B5. Got this today. So we're just going to try. Oh wow. I was like no. So I'm literally just going to do this on my cheeks. And then I'm just going to jade roll it around because... Oh, I can like literally feel. Okay, I'm all dressed. Now I'm gonna go do some homework. <laughs> 